time. Welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first two weeks of March 2018. Hey, you guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like, if you like the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Also, check the comment section because I do have a web site, web page now that I'm testing where you can go and clarify the readings, but you can also pick up new information from my blog on interpersonal relationships and challenges. And I'm trying to put some ideas and concepts from the two books, three books that I've written, and uh, introduce them into the blog for people who haven't had time to look into getting the book. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I also want to say, Sagittarius, I had some extremely positive news. I had a break in my situation, my own personal situation, uh, in the past three or four days that shocked me because it's something I have been working on for five years, a huge challenge. And uh, I have only just started the exercises that I've introduced to you. So I haven't really had time to sit down and start the process myself, but just by writing out the exercises and filming the exercises, I think I have taken on that energy and I already have some blocks being removed uh, for me. So I hope that you all are taking the time to kind of revisit those things, at least read it. If you haven't had time to really absorb it, at least try to read it or listen to the video in the background if you have time, if you're falling asleep and see if it helps. So let's see what the energies are for Sagittarius for the first two weeks of March 2018. That's already a good sign. Temperance, this is the Sagittarian card. So this for me is just a confirmation that we are speaking about Sagittarius energy. The Sagittarius elemental sign, we have the Three of Wands and for me, this again is get ready because for my personal situation, and I do not usually like to do that, this news came suddenly for me and I expect that things will start to change very quickly as opportunities open up and obstacles are reduced or removed or dissolved. And you have to be ready for that situation as well. As opportunities come open, it's also an issue about timing. Ten of Pentacles, and the Hangman, Major Arcana. So the blocks are coming open. I think for most Sagittarius, should already be in a momentum of seeing positive changes opening up and being introduced, reintroduced into their life. This lay period is coming to an end. So this was a time for reflection. Also, guys, a time for trying to get yourself healed and back in balance because it was necessary. But now the possibilities are here and opening up and you have to be ready to seize those opportunities, guys. You also have to be ready to do the work. You have to be ready to put in the time to do the work. If you haven't read the exercises, if you haven't listened to the video, then you've already given up. Some part of you has already given up. You don't believe anymore. You don't think anything that you will do will be effective in removing the block. So you've already given up in, in, in your heart and in your mind. So how can you expect to see those positive changes back in your life if you don't really believe and if you don't put in the time and if you don't do the work? You have to do the work, guys. And this is not to be preachy. And I am preaching. Okay, I'm sorry. But, you know, please, I... Sometimes you don't believe anything will work, especially after you've been through a hard time, but it will work. And if you don't believe that, then be, if you don't believe in the universe, and if you don't believe in the law of attraction or vibration or even the law of love, then please pick up a Bible and pray because I know that will work. And if you don't believe in anything, I'm not sure what to say because I believe in a lot of things I don't believe in. 
nothing. So that's another whole issue. And if you don't believe in anything, then please leave a comment on the blog site. We can try to dive into that and discuss that. But we're not discussing that today. We're trying to keep this beautifully positive and let's see where else we're going. This is waiting for a miracle. You don't have to wait anymore. The miracle has arrived. The energy is breaking up. The blocks are dissolving or being minimized, being mim minimized. This is also a card of not waiting for someone to come and rescue you. And by now, I think Sagittarius knows no one is coming to rescue you. You have to do the work. You have to do it on your own and you can do it. You're doing it. It's happening. We have the card of the mundane. I'm going to show you that card. That's a card of doing the work. This is a card of the mundane. And it's a Virgo, Libra energy, Mercury, Venus energy. If you do the work, if you put in the time and the dedication and the discipline, you will be able to start to see those positive results opening up in your life, but you have got to do the work. It's not just going to happen. Nothing in life is for free. Everyone knows that. Some things take sacrifices, and most Sagittarius have already made those sacrifices. We've been through it. Sagittarius has been through it, and now it's a time to reap the rewards if you've done the work. It's a ten of coins. If you haven't done the work, and you could look at this several different ways. If you haven't taken time to reflect and to make plans and try to put some of those plans into immediate action, it's not just about dream daydreaming, it's also about trying to take formative steps, then how can you expect any changes? This is the card of the false halo. I want to show that to you. So this feels more like self-doubt, doubting, not believing. Also sometimes being able to promote yourself uh, up or pep yourself up and then other times feeling like you've fallen down to the ground. Look at the two angels there, guys. But the prevailing energy is the major arcana temperance. It's all there. You just have to believe in yourself and you have to trust in yourself. You have to trust in your abilities to achieve what you want. You have to believe in yourself first. You have to believe to achieve. If you don't believe, how can you achieve? And we have the card of consolation. Feeling, yes, burden and like giving up and like you've been through it. And how can you go any further? What should you expect more to be positive in your life after such a hard time. But you can linger there. You can stay there in your sorrow. You can stay there in your loss. You can stay there in your disappointment. Or you can let it go. Try to do the work. Take the formative steps and action to make that change. This is the thought. These are extremely dynamic energies, but I wanted to use the thought because I'm doing the readings two weeks in advance. So I just would like to see what comes out here. We're just going to pull a few more of these, three more, and then we're going to try to reconfirm the energy with the regular rider weight. We have the Ten of Cups. <laughs> We're going to keep going with this, guys. That's the Ten of Cups from the Thoth deck. Ten of Cups. So this is about endings, but also new beginnings. We've had all the endings. The Sagittarius has had all the endings already. It's a time of renewal now. Starting over. But positive burst of energy. We have the Major Arcana, the Devil. And that feels like giving, giving, giving in to the temptation of not believing, giving in to the temptation of not caring. It's also about giving up and really not believing 
It's also about possibly for some Sagittarius losing faith, losing faith in the universe, using, losing some faith also in your spirituality. We have the prince, prince uh, the princess of cups. This is like the similar to the knight of cups energy, but the gifts are there. The offers are coming forward. The people are also coming forward who care. People are also coming forward who are willing and want to help. Opportunities are presenting themselves in a very decisive manner. But you, can, you, you can't not do the work. You have to do the work. And part of the work is believing and building back up your faith and your hope. And finally, we have another major arcana. We have the moon. And this is feeling like you don't know what's coming. Feeling like, when is the other shoe going to drop? Because, whoa, 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 I've had to deal with so many things and I know this can't be the end. I know something else is looming out there <laughs> over my shoulder. It's not. There's always an unknown factor in life. No one, not even a tarot reader, psychic. I don't care who it is and I don't care how good they are. Nobody can tell you everything. And most readers cannot see into the future. You're just trying to gauge the energies around a certain period of time. But there's always, always unknown factors. Some things are not meant to be known. It's about having the faith and the courage to put yourself out there, even when you don't know what the results will be of your action. And Sagittarius are excellent at that. We're the master of that. And Saturn didn't stop that. It's Sagittarius' this time now, but you have to do the work and you have to believe and you have to have the faith. You have to build, rebuild back up that faith and confidence and you're doing it. King of Cups is shadowing the energy of the Princess of the Cups, but it's elevated. The people are coming forward who want to help, who will help, and they don't want anything from you. They want to help you. It's your time now. We have the two of coins. I'm going to put, finish putting these down. The four of swords and the four of wands. So this is translating as an energy of uh, when is the other shoe going to drop? I've been up, I've been down, now I've been down for a really long time, will I ever go back up? And when I get back up, something's presenting itself, opportunities are presenting themselves, how much can I believe and trust in them? This is, I don't want to do the work, I'm tired, I've had enough, I can't take another step. But you have to take that step, guys. It's time, it's go time. Do the work. Let's see what else we have here. I'm feeling really positive about this reading. And I just got that. Sagittarius, please reach out to friends. You've, you've probably neglected talking to friends or making new friends. If you do not feel comfortable to reach out to old friends or family for support, especially people who turn their back on you in your time of need, because I'm sure it happened, then try to reach out to new people and make new friends. Take a step-by-step -step approach. You don't have to throw your faith into uh, new people who you really do not know, but at least try to reach out and make new friends and make new contacts. It will greatly benefit you over the next few weeks. So let's see what else we have. We have the King of Cups two times, so this is getting confirmation of the energy. These are people who are coming, who are willing to help. This can also be new people coming in from a more personal standpoint. New friendships is not always about love, guys. Sometimes it's about fraternal love, finding new friendships and people who you love uh, on a platonic level to be a part of your life building up new support systems. The energy is there for this. We have the six of 
swords, the six of air. This is moving away from conflict, moving away from disappointment, moving away from strife, selling away. It's selling away, guys. That strife, disappointment, that time is over. It's time to look forward to the future now. It's time to plan for the future. It's time to believe in today so that you can plan for tomorrow. And then finally, who do we have? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Take command of your power. Take command of that fire. That's what I have for Sagittarius. You guys, please don't forget to listen to the video. Uh, I think I headed it as a must watch is energy clearing exercise for Sagittarius because I recorded the video and as I told you within a week I don't even think it was a week later I had a break in my own situation I have waited for for five years five years quite serious situation so and that's just by recording and by writing out the uh, blog uh, please go look for the link below try to read it if you don't like the feel of it just try to engage the process and the concept and build your own story try to write out your own story and also Sagittarius please try to speak your story because I feel like a lot of Sagittarius were attacked from a communi communication standpoint uh, feeling restricted in how they spoke out or the ability to speak out and I feel like a lot of Sagittarius are quiet now or suppress the sound or the voice is suppressed you have to find your voice it's essential right now Sagittarius so thank you for joining me sorry for the long reading but this is for the next two weeks I will not record a, another video until the middle of March so I hope you enjoy the reading please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you guys in two weeks if you guys are having a break in your situation please 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 leave comments here or please leave comments on the website so that we can try to lift up and pass on kind of information, knowledge, share with all, with all zodiac signs, but in particular with Sagittarius. And thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.